Welcome to my final day in Bangkok. It's come around already. I move on tomorrow. And I've already been out and about this morning. Been to uh, drop off some laundry, which left me with uh, no clothes to wear apart from a pair of swimming shorts. And they're not really very comfortable to be walking around in all day. So I've been out, bought myself some lovely trousers. So I'm truly in Thailand now. Plan for today? just have a walk around go and see some of the sites I've not managed to get to yet there's a couple of uh, temples a food market and who knows what we'll discover on the way it's absolutely beautiful today it's very hot the smell on the streets of Bangkok early in the morning is absolutely incredible just everyone's getting their pork ready to sell for the day the whole city smells like red pork and look at that so my next destination is about 30 minutes walk away. So uh, yeah, let's get lost in Bangkok. Well, this is an interesting route it's taking me on. I might walk down here when it's dark. Well, this one's certainly tucked away. I wouldn't have even known this was here, to be honest. It's surrounded by housing. So you can't really see it from the street. I don't know how much of it there actually is. Is it just that? There must be a reason why I've got this saved to my maps. This one I'm walking through now is the, all the monks' houses. You can see the uh, monks' dress hanging out on the washing lines. There's a fair few old monks practicing here because there's tons of accommodation surrounding. And we've got, well, these two temples that I can see from here. And there's a third over there. Well, this is the ordination hall. And no one knows when this was built. How bizarre is that? You can see that this is not one that many tourists come to. It's completely empty. Oh, wow, look at it. Oh, there's a guy over there. have to walk all the way around because the uh, floor's too hot when you're in the sun. Obviously, you've got to take your shoes off. Just imagine being in the Golden Palace and it being this empty. That would be a whole new experience pretty much every time. A day in the Golden Palace. It's absolutely packed with tourists. This is definitely not a tourist area. I haven't seen any tourists for a long time. There are a few in the uh, temple, but there's no food, there's no real shops. I've just seen my first 7 Eleven that I've seen in about half an hour. So once we do get to this market, which is about five minutes away from here, uh, then it's it's going to be a local market. It's not going to be filled with tourists. So it might be spicy. So here we are then. Let's see what we've got going on. So I managed to get something to eat finally. I've gone for these uh, fried noodles with pork and uh, there's tons of veg in there, which is nice. Even got a bit of broccoli there, look. 60 baht, which seems to be the going rate for everything these days. Another huge tent. I'm not sure if this is the one that I've actually come to look at. The one I've come to look at is called Watt Mount which I think is just over at the back. So again, we've got the temple in the middle of this big courtyard and around the perimeter, we've got dozens of Buddhas. Well, it looks like this is what I've come to see. And it looks like I've got some climbing to do. like 
good cave. Well, this is what I actually came to look for, the Golden Mountain. And uh, you have to pay to get in this one. 50 baht. 344 steps then. This is all well and good. But I've got to have a go at this. I'm not sure what happens when you get here. This is in. Oh, we can go further. I thought we'd reach the top, but apparently not. Well, this is as good as anywhere for views over Bangkok. No need to pay extortionate prices for a drink in a sky bar. Just come to the Golden Mount. Over on this side of the city will be the commercial side. You can see all the skyscrapers. That was pretty cool, that was uh, more than I was expecting. I was thinking it was just going to be uh, another temple, but yeah, that was pretty cool. I enjoyed that. Some great artwork in here. Up here we've got these stages of the moon. Wow. So I've got three things left that I want to do today. The first one is 11 minutes walk away and it's a park with a bit of a strange history. Google Maps have told me that I need to go straight down there and there's a sign here saying exit but Google Maps is telling me that I literally go straight. Obviously there isn't a straight so I thought is it down there? I went down there that's blocked off as well this is blocked off. Oh, what the hell is the exit? So I thought oh, it must be wrong and came out and I thought do you know what? Let me just try down here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> there we go. Back on the street. This is the entrance to the park then. And these guard towers here are left over from the days when this used to be a prison. Apparently there are some old cells around here as well. So yeah, I'm guessing that this part of it here, this is what used to be the prison. And uh, now it's the public park. I'm guessing this is what used to be the prison park. Wow, you've got the cells here as well. It's all still here. Look at this. Number 18. Wow, an old Thai prison. The Thai prisons are notorious for the uh, cruelty that's dished out to the prisoners. So I bet there was some right nasty stuff going on in here. These look much smaller. It's crazy, but this prison has just been left here. There's no information about it or anything. There's uh, cells on the top floor as well. We have another one of the old watchtowers here. I'm guessing that there will be watchtowers surrounding the whole park. In fact, I can see another one down in the corner over there. They do love their karaoke in this part of the world. And it doesn't matter how good or how bad you are, everyone gets up.
This looks like the old main entrance of the prison. Wow, we've even got a cell down here. It's a cell within a cell. How grim is that? Everyone who's sat around here at the minute appears to be colouring in. What bizarre thing to do? Or meet up in the middle of a park to do some colouring. My next destination is a place called Dragon Town, which is a Chinese complex that was only built and opened about five, six years ago. It was hoped it would attract the millions of Chinese tourists that flock to Bangkok each year and students from the nearby university. It never really took off. Half of the properties were never filled and the people that did open businesses in this area all shut down during COVID. All that's left now are empty shops and empty restaurants. Now that sounds right up my street. It's about half an hour walk away. So let's go to Dragon Town. Well, I should be coming into Dragon Town any time now. There's something over there that looks Chinese so maybe I'm on the wrong side. And I've got to say that this area that I've walked through is not an area that I've been in before and bloody hell you should see the street food, it's everywhere. It looks like this is it on the right hand side. I think we've got a few Chinese tourists over there. Yeah this looks like it then, There's quite a few people around actually. Welcome to Dragon Town. So as we enter, we've got an empty restaurant straight away. It's really strange that they would decide to build this pseudo Chinatown when there's an actual real Chinatown not far from here. There are one or two places open. Chocolatier here. So you can see how new this is. And practically everything's closed. We've got the odd one, but they're not going to be doing much business, are they, when there's nothing else around here? Having said that, it's actually full. <laughs> oh God knows what I've come across here. still in the uh, pseudo Chinatown and decided to stop for some food at one of the places that's survived. In fact all on this street seems to be doing all right. It's just that kind of complex down there where everything's shut down. So I've ordered a bit of everything. I've gone for the special which is duck, red pork and crispy pork on rice in sauce. Well that looks pretty amazing to be honest and we've already, it comes with this, which I think is just like a very clear soup. Let's give that a go first. Oh, it's really nice. And then we've got this, which is the sauce to go over the top. So I'll get that taste first before I cover this in it. Mm. Yep, that's going on. How wonderful does that look? Well that was really good. 
and uh, bless him, the guy that was serving me just didn't know what to do with me. <laughs> I ordered the meal which was 90 and I asked for a bottle of water and then he asked for ice and I said it didn't matter about ice, I said, is the water cold? And they said yeah ice is cold. <laughs> and I was like, so anyway, I think he knew what I meant and then he disappeared and a minute later he came back with a bottle of water and like said is this what you want? I said yeah. So anyway it came to 100 baht. Um, so exactly, well just under two and a half pounds. Which is amazing because there was so much meat on it. It was fantastic food as well. And then when I finished, I kind of went in to pay at the counter and obviously that's not what people normally do. And the guy serving was just so confused by everything. But uh, lovely, great food as well. The only thing left for me to do now is to head back to the Kaosan Road area where I'm staying. Now there's no BTS or Metro. I'm not taking a bus. Instead, I'm going to walk to the MBK and catch Bangkok Canal Boat. Right, so I've reached the canal now and apparently I just keep walking along here and there should be a canal boat stop. Hello. I can see the canal boat stop from here. I'm just a couple of minutes away. No sign of a boat yet, so that's good. If I see one suddenly come in, then I'm probably going to have to run. There's quite a few people there, so I think that might mean that there's one due. I think a lot of tourists might not know about these canal boats. It just appears it's one of the main roads that brings you down from uh, Ratatouille down to uh, the MBK and Siam and the Bangkok Art and Cultural Centre. And you're walking down there and there's like busy, busy roads and then above you you've got the SkyTrain. And yeah, if you drop down underneath the bridge, you've also got the canal boats. Well, all the information's in Thai. Presuming I just wait here. Well, I didn't have no time to wait for that at all. Wait till I turned up after a minute. Pan Palo, that's here we come. Just next to the Golden Mount where I was earlier. It cost 11 baht, so about 25 pence. Which is not bad, is it, for a canal boat ride? It wasn't the calmest of uh, rides, but there you go, you can't have everything. Just crossed the road and uh, there's a huge temple complex. Bloody impressive one as well. Let's go and take a look. Looks like I've got this whole place to myself. And it's beautiful. Look at check this one out over here. That's pretty impressive that one. Why is there no one here? Is it locked up? Am I supposed to be in here? Yeah, it's all locked up. Nine to five. What time is it now? Oh, it's half past five already. Bloody hell. Well, that's why there's no one here. Well, it doesn't stop you from enjoying it from the outside. And this huge monument here, which is the Democracy Monument, will all be lit up. I've got into Google Maps, I'm about seven minutes away from my hostel, but I'm not going straight back there. I'm going to find the bar. Now, Khao Road is around here somewhere. But I don't particularly want to go there, I just want to find a nice place to relax and chill out. Sit down, be on the gold, eh? Back on Khao San Road then. It's already looking a bit livelier than uh, what it did earlier on today. Yeah. Everyone's just setting up for the night. That guy's getting ready. 
can tell they're just getting ready because all the moo pings still raw. <laughs> They've only just put it on the grill. I am seriously considering just like dumping all of my wardrobe and just refilling it with cheap shirts from Thailand. Eat mushrooms, see the universe. Look at that. Another one there. I've seen that one before. I like that one. Incredible night. It's just like carrier bags everywhere. Everything's been put away. It's about I don't even know what time it is, it's about five o'clock in the morning. It's probably even later than that to be honest. I met some Thai guy in the reggae bar and yeah, we ended up buying beers all night and then at the end of the night he didn't want any money. I said to him, I'll give you some money. And he's like, no, no, this is on me. And then uh, I walked out because I'm pretty drunk. <laughs> you might have gathered. Oh, that's some sweet food.